Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Dark Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're just on our way to the sawmill with another load of logs that I cut up in the last episode that I completely forgot. <laughs> These are some of the ones I spotted when we was coming back from the store. I don't think this tractor's going to fit through there, so hopefully we can get this on the outside. Yeah, but I in the the first set of logs or trees we cut down in the last episode near the cabin that we cut into the grass um, I completely lost I think there was about four or five trees still in there that I completely missed when I tried to pull them out that's one of the reasons why I really need to get that grass cut because it's so difficult to see uh, the actual logs when they're on the ground uh, so yeah I miss miss so many so I loaded those up and there's a few more just over by the skid steer left to load up um, the plan for today is to get a second field ploughed in uh, which we'll have a go at once we've sold those logs uh, then we need to look at getting rid of the stones out of this field and the new one we create which will go away from us going down that way so parallel to the sawmill and then I want to try and get some lime spread on the fields and then get the both fields sown with a crop So that's the kind of plan for today. I say next job will be to just get the rest of these loaded up, get these sold, and then we'll head over to the store and see what we can buy to use to remove these rocks. That's all the logs loaded up. I've got one tiny one on that little trailer that we'll uh, take with us as well. So then we'll go and get this sold, then we'll head over to the store. I can actually pick that one up. There we go. So that's the last of the trees that I cut down last time. But everything now should be uh, cleared out the way. We'll get those strapped down and we'll get back in our international. And yeah, we'll get these sold. So that's another 3,533 for that load. So we're up to 38,447. That should be enough to get the rock removal uh, tool I'm going to use. And also possibly the lime crusher. Uh, but we may need some other equipment to help with that because I'm not sure how that's going to quite work yet. So what we'll do next is before we actually buy that we'll get the next field plowed in. So we can get that done out of the way. And then uh, we can have a look again these rocks sorted out. So we'll uh, drop the trailer back off and get our plow hooked up. And get this new field in so I said we'll go from the end of this one so we'll try and keep the end of the new one the same as this so if I come into this one and then I can set my enhanced vehicle control hopefully that's roughly in the right place we'll leave a decent gap between them so I don't want to come too close so if we come there, so allow create fields on, lower that down, and away we go. This one's going to get a little bit close to these trees on the side, but it's not too much of an issue down this end. So I still think there's a decent gap there. Now we'll try and keep this a similar size to that one, so we've got two fairly equal sized fields to start off with. Okay, so we've almost got the edges of the field done. So I think it's slightly smaller than the other one, but they are fairly well similar size, so it shouldn't be too bad. I think I just 
better line that up perfect from that side. So yeah, we'll get the, the middle section all ploughed in. And then uh, we just need to get the rock sorted out. Okay, so that's the second field all created. Get that lifted up and switch off a low crate field so when we drop it back down it doesn't blow in a section where we drop it. So I just need to tidy up a little bit of the edges on that one. There's a couple of little spots that need tidying up. That should do. Could really do that little bit there, but I will leave that one. So yeah, that's the second field done. I'm just trying to work out if we've got enough money to get everything we need for the next job. I possibly may need to cut down a few more trees yet. I need to also try and work out the best way to. do it because I'm not sure how we're going to transport this stuff down here yeah we'll head up to the store I'm going to take the skid steer because the rock removal tool is for the skid steer so we're going to get that first we'll also buy the rest of the stuff and then I may need to come back with the pickup truck uh, to possibly get that loaded up okay so we're down at the store to get our new equipment Let's see if I can remember where the trigger is. There we go. So we'll just quickly check the used equipment and yeah, nothing of use to us at the moment. Or well, nothing in there that we can afford that would be useful for us. So we need to go with the skid steers and Skid steer loaded tools, or is it under rock collection stone pickers? That's if I can find what we're looking for. There we go. So it's the lizard landscape rake, uh, skid steer for skid steers by Black Sheep Modding. So it's three thousand dollars to buy. Uh, it's only a two point five meter wide pickup, um, but it has got a three thousand liter capacity. Uh, which seems quite a lot for stone, so not even sure how well the skid steer will handle that much weight, but uh, we'll give it a try, so we'll purchase that. And with you comparison to the cheaper trailed rock picker, stone picker, is lost the category again, stone pickers. Uh, so that one's 25,000, it's 2.3 meter, uh, 2,300 litre capacity but it's only a two meter work with so we've got an extra half meter and a slightly higher capacity for a, a lot less money so hopefully that'll work out reasonably well and if we go in miscellaneous the next item one to get is the cr600 by hoffy which is a multi-tool crusher so we'll get the belt on we don't need box creation so with this we'll be able to put stones in to get lime out and at one to one ratio so we go yellow and black and we'll purchase that so it's 20,100 and but we can produce our own lime we can also do wood chips with this and sugar beet cut and shredded straw straw bales so there's quite a few things we can do with that uh, the 
problem we're going to have is how we're going to get that back to the farm. Um, so we may need to get a trailer to load this onto. Uh, the one good thing about this is obviously it's mobile. And then we're also going to need something for the lime to go into as it's being produced. So we probably will need to get the spreader as well. So let's go and have a look, see if we've got enough money to get a small trailer. And we could get the gooseneck, that's 8,000. So the 20 foot gooseneck trailer, but we'd get it in the bumper pool configuration. And which reduced the price a little bit, so that's 7,000. 750. I don't know if that'd then leave us with enough money to get the spreader as well. Uh, let's have a look where spreaders. So there's this one, which is the cheaper option. So it's only a 3,000 litre capacity and it hasn't got a very big working width at all. <laughs> But if we was to leave that standard, it's 8,500. So we'll buy that because we're going to need one. Yeah, we're just a little bit short for the trailer, um, which is a little bit annoying. Let's have a look, see if there's anything else in here that comes under trailers that we could possibly use. That's 15,000, 15,500. Yeah, so I think it looks like the gooseneck with the bumper pool is going to be our best option, which we unfortunately can't afford at the moment. So yeah, we might have to go and cut, cut down a few more trees uh, so we can get that. I uh, may also need to get a set of pallet forks as well to try and lift that conveyor onto the trailer so we can then get that back to the farmyard and start loading the rocks directly into that. So we'll take the stone picker back. I don't think we'll be able to attach the spreader to the back of this, but we'll give it a try. So, nope. I, to be honest, I don't think there's anything that attaches to the back of that hitch on here. Um, but yeah, we'll head back to the farm. We'll probably have to do one load of trees just so we've got enough money then to get the trailer so we can get the stone crusher back up to the yard okay so I've done another two loads of logs just so we've now got enough money to buy the rest of the equipment we need so we can get the bump ball trailer the 20 foot which means we can get the skid steer back to the farm along with hopefully we can get the uh, the uh, rock crusher on there as well going to try and get a set of pallet forks for the skid steer if I can find this trigger again there we go I really really need to do mark that um so if we go trailers and we'll get the no it's low loaders we want low loaders we'll get the 20 foot gooseneck but we'll go with the bumper ball. I think we'll keep everything else as standard because I don't want to be spending too much. That's seven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for that, and then also we need a set of skid steer pallet forks. I'm gonna get the ones that go with the skid steer we've got. Although they're new, New Holland branded, it comes in the same pack. Okay, so back at the farm. What we'll do is we'll get this set up somewhere just at the side of the field. Um, I've got the spreader already here for the international. So yeah, unfortunately I'm just going to have to uh, lift this off by hand again. So excuse that. I do apologise for using super strength. Not something I like to use unless I've get no other choice so we'll get the skid steer off as well and get this trailer moved out the way and we can get the rock stone picker I keep saying rock stones that look like big rocks more than stones so 
I think rock picking was uh, more suitable for what we're going to be doing than stones. So I'll get that unfolded. Yeah, this uh, trailer doesn't work very well on this. I say this pickup is quite small. Uh, this trailer sits down a little bit with a bump hitch, which means the ramps don't quite hit the ground. But it did the job to get us back down the farm with the equipment. So if we drop the forks off. Now we'll get our rock picker on. And we'll have a go with this. This is another mod I've not used before. And that looks absolutely ginormous on the front of this uh, skid steer. So we'll get that switched on and get it lowered down. And then we can go around and pick up all these rocks. So we've got 8 litres so far. So yeah, I'm not sure how much we're going to get in terms of stones in total. Whether we will even get enough to actually produce enough lime to cover the entire field. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, this is going to be one of those very boring, tedious jobs. And looking at how much we're getting from these stones, we're not going to end up with uh, any significant amount of lime. Uh, that crusher does a literally a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's one litre of stones to one litre of lime. And 41 litres of lime isn't going to go very far at all. I also just thought as well, we need to try and get the actual stones into the crusher. So I don't know if we're going to have the height on this to... Um, reach that but yeah what I'm going to do I'll carry on getting all these stones until we get a full load at least and then we'll uh, put them into the crusher if we can ok so that's all these stones picked up from this field uh, we've got 1000 litres which I've managed to get into the actual crusher uh, by putting the gooseneck or the bumper trailer there with the ramp on so we can just get the skidder up to go above that now and unload so we've got 1000 litres in there I've moved the spreader out of the way because I'm really don't want to use this spreader um, we've got enough money to get the 6 ton one from 82 studios instead so we'll take this to the store we'll sell this one and we'll buy the the other one instead that should then leave us with just about enough money to get the the seed drill as well and then we can get a bag of seed fertiliser and get our first crop in the ground. Right, we'll sell this spreader. I'm not 100% sure where the trigger is for the workshop. Pretty sure it's around the back. I'm just going to use the mobile workshop mod instead. So we get 7479 back for it and I think we paid... 8,000 I think was it um, and as I can never find the trigger I'm just going to use the uh, menu mode it's going to be a bit easier so yeah it cost us 8,500 so we've lost pretty much a thousand on that um, but I should have really just held out and got this one anyway I'm going to keep it standard just to keep the cost at 12, 12, uh, 12,200 so we'll buy that one instead and then we should just about have enough to get the seed drill which we'll buy while we're here and we want cedars I'm going to go for the case 5100 and again we'll keep that as standard so that's 6000 so that leaves us with 2441 which I'm hoping is enough to get some uh, seed I don't think it's going to be enough is it to get seed and fertiliser uh, let's have a look at the, the pallets are they a bit cheaper so seeds 900, yeah, we're going to need 2,820. So we're a little bit short on being able to get fertilizer and seed. Uh, I don't think I've got any other pallet mods with the smaller seed bags and fertilizers installed. So yeah, I may have to, uh, when we come back for the seed drill, I'll 
nip out the game and go mod hub because though I know there are some mods that come with smaller capacity pallets that are a lot cheaper so we may be able to afford to buy a few of those all right we'll get the spreader under the crusher I have no idea how fast yeah the production is on this so I have no idea how long it's going to take for it to actually work but if we get this parked up and then we can actually jump in the crusher and get that started And there we go, we are now producing lime. It is a one-to-one -one ratio, so it'll be a thousand lime from a thousand stones. But we'll put the other 412 litres we've got in here into the crusher as it goes. And then we just need to get the stones, rocks off the other field. So if we spin round we can just about reach over <laughs> doesn't want to do it now <laughs> Why is that not working now? Oh, that's quite quick. Oh, let's see if we can get these in. Yeah, for some reason now, it, oh there we go. Oh, it's only doing a little bit of time now. Yeah, okay, well, I'll go and pick up the rest of the stones from the other field and then I'll try and have a play around with this, see if I can get it to work again. It seems to no longer want to take the rest of my stones. Yeah. Yeah, not sure what's going on there. Well, yeah, I'll go and get the stones off the rest of the field anyway, so that's doing them. We can at least try and get some lime spread and see if we can get at least one field done with the lime. Okay, so I've got all the stones from the second field as well now. And we've got 604 litres left in here. I've already filled up the crusher again. Um, I did quit out the game and reload, and it does seem to be working a lot better now. Um, I think the problem was it the capacity had got reduced to 19 litres so it's put 19 litres in it before for some reason um, I don't know if it's because it was causing an issue because I tried to fill it while it was still processing the previous stones so what I found if I fill it up with stones let it completely process all those stones and then switch it back off again I can then refill it to full capacity so we'll get the last 604 litres in there. So that's all these stones in. Um, I reckon we've got just over 3,000 litres. So probably around about 3,200 litres. I think we're getting a similar amount off each field. So we've got no, 2,936, so just a little bit less. Um, but I'm really hoping this spreader works the way it did on Silver and Forest and the lime does go a little bit further than it normally does. I'm hoping it is the spreader and it wasn't just the map, so we'll give it a try. So we'll get that switched on. Yeah, we're not really using much, so we should hopefully just have enough to get both of these fields done. Yeah, we can get the lime spread on, on both fields. Um, I've installed the mods now that we can buy the small 50 litre or so seed bags. So we should be able to get enough seed and fertiliser to um, get our first crops planted in at least one of the fields.
Well, that's the lime spreading all done. I think the lime usage on this spreader is a little bit too low, to be honest. And so we've still got 2,368 litres left. I'm pretty sure if we'd have used the other spreader, we wouldn't have even got the one field done. It would be nice if we'd have, um, if it wasn't so bad. And I've just realised as well, that last load of stones we put in here, we didn't actually even process. So, now I know why there was only less than 3,000 litres when I was expecting a bit more. Yeah, so it probably would have been close to the... 3,600 litres out of actually process this load of stones. Well, there we go. That's all these stones done. I say this is probably not going to get much use now because obviously until we start playing more fields, we're not going to have any more stones to put through it. But we have got the option as well. We could possibly do some wood chips if we put the shorter off cuts of logs in there as well. I would just get a trailer to put the wood chips into. So yeah, 2,900 litres, and I think we was down to about 2,400-ish. So yeah, we probably would have been close to 3,600 litres of lime in total. So yeah, what we need to do next actually is get back in here. I'll drop the spreader off. We'll head back up to the store to pick up the seed drill. And also we'll get a few small bags of seed fertiliser. Uh, I'll just have a quick look at the crop rotation calendar. Now, I definitely want to get some sorghum in to one field, which we can do this month and next month as well. Um, and I probably think soybeans for the other field. That way, then, when we come to buy the combine, we only need to worry about getting a grain header uh, this year. Obviously, if we go for corn or sunflowers, we'll need to um, get the header for the sorghum and then another header for. For those crops so we'll probably do yeah soybeans in the one field actually looking at that we could still plant oats in april so maybe we do one field of oats and then one field of sorghum now uh, that way then we can also get the straw well we'll go get the seed drill We'll fill it up as much as we can with the money we've got left and see how far we get with planting the one field and then make a decision. No, actually, if we do the first field with oats, because we can do that this month, because the sorghum can be done next month. So we'll do the oats first and then see how much seed fertiliser is left in the spreader. If there's not enough to do the other field and we don't have enough money to buy any more, then we'll... Uh, leave that till next month when we can do a bit more tree clearing and uh, get a bit more money then to get some more seed fertiliser okay so let's get our seed drill hooked up and get it filled up with seed and fertiliser as much as we can so I've, I have been out the game so I've got a few of the small pallets or bags of seed fertiliser installed so we can get a few of those purchased, although it does take a while. I'm just going to check pallets. Um, so I've got the Pioneer Seeds, which are $25 for 25 litres. Um, these are all just seeds. They're, it's just the um, the bag looks different for each one. So if you're doing role play, you can swap your seeds out if you want. But they are all just seeds on those. Um, Let's see if we've got any bigger pallets. So we've got that one's 950. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to stick with these smaller bags for now. Don't think there's anything in big bags, no. So the more the problem is gonna be the fertilizer because we just can't afford. So we can get the 1000 liters of seeds for 800. So we'll buy one of those. That leaves us with 1,600 
39, which is just a little bit short to get some solid fertilizer in a bag. And I'm pretty sure these are the same price. Yeah, 1920. And I don't think there's anything pallets or fertilizer that we can quite afford. Uh, that one's solid fertilizer, 1400. Uh, only 750 liters, though. Uh, but we can actually afford that. So <laughs> rather than get 1500 of these little 50 litre bags, I'll go with one of these. I don't think I've ever actually used that pallet before. So we can get these both filled up. I don't think we've quite enough fertiliser to completely fill that, nope. So maybe we could finish filling that up with a couple of the 50 litre bags, just so we are going back completely full. So if we go big bags, um, get a couple of these. Just to throw in as well. Don't know if these all... Oh, there we go. And uh, the other one's just here. Uh, that full? Not quite. There we go. I think that's the seed drill full. Don't know if we can be able to transport this back. Maybe if we... Uh... Oh, no, we can't put it on there. There's a collision. <laughs> I didn't like um, being dropped on the front. I don't think there's any collision on the waist. Nope. Right, we'll leave that there because we're going to have to come back for the seed bag anyway. So yeah, we'll head back. We'll do the oats first. So we'll set that to oats. And we'll see how much seed fertiliser we've got left and then decide whether we do the sorghum today or whether we leave that till next month. Right, so we'll put oats into the first field. Uh, which is the one just in front of us and then I think that'll do us for today because we are getting on for quite a while and I'm literally run out of time for recording so we get this load down and we can start getting our first crop in the ground and I'm hoping these green bits will get yeah they are as I say I was hoping they'll get deleted with this planter and they are so all the ones in the field should get removed as we go around. Um, I could have gone over it with the landscaping tool and used the... Uh, if you paint it over with meadow grass, then delete the meadow grass, it gets rid of them. Um, but because I'm not using the free landscaping tools, that would be pretty expensive. Uh, but we'll get rid of the rest as we progress and start getting more money. We can do some more landscaping and tidy the area up. Uh, said last time get some roads painted in uh, make things look a little bit nicer so we should have enough seed and fertilizer to do this one field uh, so then next time we'll do the sorghum in the other field and then we'll have to get back to doing a little bit more forestry so we can get a little bit more money because we're going to need to buy a combine um, I want to get the John Deere batwing mower as well uh, so we can start getting some grass cut around these trees so when we do cut them down then we've got a clearing to drop them in and if we do that as well we may as well utilize the grass if we can for hay bales um, either to sell or potentially get some sheep or cows uh, so yeah that will be the plan for next time obviously we're not going to need the combine for a few months yet uh, but we will need to start putting some money aside to actually buy one for when we need one
that's the oats all done and our first field and our first crop in the ground here on Dark Forest so that's where we'll leave it for today and so next time we'll have to continue cutting a few more trees down so we can get some more money to get a little bit more seed fertiliser so we can get the other seed uh, field planted up and obviously there's going to be a little bit more equipment we're going to need to buy as well as we progress so hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up really do appreciate that and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel then please do consider subscribing i've got more farm simulator 22 content coming up with uh, the let's play series and also the live streams on this channel and if you want to check out the let's play version of this video then check out my main channel sim farmer where uh, you can watch this entire episode and see some of the bits you didn't see in this video in time lapse form so thank you again for watching i'll see you all in the next one goodbye